All right, so not too long ago, I made a video about information on Lost Ark. One of the topics that I went over was how some resources were really popular at the start, but then they really didn't see that many updates, with Maxwell being my main example, because for so long it was just the go-to resource. But their class guides were just really out of date because they didn't update them with every balance patch, so it ended up turning into a place that I and many other people couldn't recommend for other players to actually look into for information, at least when it comes to classes. Well, a couple weeks later after I did that, they actually brought in Tebow and a couple other guys, I think with community guides, and they actually redid all their class guides and added some more. So yeah, they're up there on the page editors that looks like they're probably there to stay. Tebow actually got on a call with Stoops and he talked to him about how that staff is actually still as hardcore grinding the game. So that's really good to hear because for a while there, it just really seemed like everybody at Maxwell just dropped Lost Ark. So I thought I'd talk about the change on Maxwell and just how I see it now. So knowing that they brought in people who worked on the community guides, which is already a very trusted resource in the community, is a bit reassuring. But if it's the same people who made the class guides on Maxwell and the same people make it on community guides, how is it any different? That was my main question when I looked into the updated guides. But before even looking at the guides, I had a really good reason for Maxwell already. So if you've been around for the release of say Slayer or Soul Eater and you use the community guides, you probably remember that community guides had problems loading because there were so many people accessing it. They would actually make different mirrors for different versions of the guide. A lot of people had to make their own copies of the guides and just keep it there for themselves. So, so many people trying to access community guide, we basically gave it the hug of death, which is an unintentional DDoS from people just trying to access a website. And that's just kind of a limitation on Google Docs and Google Sheets and all that kind of stuff that works because it's usually not intended for that much traffic to go. Maxwell and websites in general, they're generally better designed to handle this kind of traffic. So that's already a pro. Also in the past, there has been situations where a community guide has been held hostage by one of the people who edited it. So that is also a downside to having something on a Google Doc. Now, while I can't say they'll never go down, I have more faith in them staying up during high traffic. So let's get into the guide itself. Basically, if you've looked at a community guide before, you're gonna see something really familiar. It's a lot of the same formatting, a lot of the same order of things, but there are a few things missing from it. One of the main ones I saw was that there was no damage breakdown. My assumption for this is because it implies the use of a damage meter, which is something that is not condoned by AGS or Smilegate. I tried asking Sivo some questions, but he's under NDA, so he really can't tell me. So yeah, I'm just going to assume that they just didn't want to do it because of the association with the use of damage meters. And this being a big gaming site as opposed to a Google Doc guide. Additionally, on community guides, you usually see like a fact or Q&A section about things that people often ask. Those are just not a Maxwell either. So if you're more interested in those two things, then community guides are definitely still a thing to go to as opposed to Maxwell. So even though it's made by some of the same people, it doesn't completely invalidate the community guides. But what Maxwell does really good is it, it really is a more straight to the point version of a community guide. If you just want everything you need to know about how to play a class, how to build a class, it's all right there for you. And because it is an actual website that's used by actual code, as opposed to a Google Doc, which is just kind of, it's rough. Let's put it that way. Visually and functionally, Maxwell is just superior. The information is just a lot more condensed and as somebody who just doesn't like scrolling eight pages and pages and pages and pages through, I can really appreciate Maxwell. Yes, and I know there is that bar of titles and all that stuff on the side that you can just skip through things, but it's still just, just neatly condensed. And then I said it before in the other video that Maxwell is just a really good overall resource for other things as well. Adventure Tomes, Islands, Raid Guides, these are all up to date as well. They even have ones for Guardian Raids. The Raid Guides have cheat sheets, they have videos of mechanics, they have just paragraphs explaining mechanics, game systems, power systems. Like they updated and added one for Elixirs, which has a lot of good information on it. Now there are more ways to cut Elixirs than what they say, like techniques and stuff that people talk about. You're gonna have to go to Reddit or Discord and find all those kind of things. And since it's pretty new, I guess I'll talk about their latest edition, which is their community voted tier list. And I'm sure between you and the people you know, there's already some pretty big differences in how people see the classes. So you can be pretty confident that the community tier lists are going to be a pretty wild ride. Because even though on the website it says to base it off the average encounter with this class, you definitely know people aren't reading that and they're probably just going by either ceiling, which they shouldn't. But there's also going to be a lot of people who are trying to upplay and downplay classes. Like, I am genuinely surprised that Surge Deathblade made it to top three, because whenever you hear somebody who plays Deathblade talk about Deathblade, they always try to downplay this class. Like, these Deathblade players are just unhinged. Then there are people who are say that the class is capable, but most people suck at it, so that also kind of defies the average counter concept. I don't know, whenever Deathblade is in like a main topic, it is always just a fire because these people just can't stop fighting. So if you know any Deathblade players, uh, you know, just check it on them from time to time. Make sure they're all right. So yeah, this is almost kind of like a gatekeeping tier list because this is just kind of how people see the classes. 
So I guess from here we can go with a small example of how I would say to go to learning about classes. I'm pretty sure I used Knight's Edge Soul Eater as an example before and I'm going to use it again. So you want to learn a little bit more about the build and all that, so you go to Max Roll. It's going to give you all the information you need to know to get by in this community and what they conceive as the meta for that class. But maybe you've heard somewhere that there are people who use Dominion Set and run Swiftness build. Such a build is completely left out of Max Roll. But maybe you're still really interested in it, so the next place you would probably want to go to is the community guides. They do make mention of the Swiftness build and why they do not recommend it. So from here, if you're still dedicated to learning more about this, you have a few options. You could go to Reddit and see if anybody posted about it, which there is a pretty big thread on one guy who theory crafted a build for that. You could look at the Korean API and see how many people are running it over in KR and look at their builds, but then you don't really have any information to go with it. And then lastly, you could join the community Discord server. In this server, there's a channel for every class, and there's a very good chance if you have a question about a class, a build, or anything like that, somebody has probably asked it by now. So if you go to lostark.nexus, you go to looking for group, up there is the community tab, you can just go there and join the server. So do all your role assignment and all that kind of stuff. And again, I do suggest searching up your question before asking it. So if you go up to the top right, type in colon and then start typing whatever class you're looking into and then it should be able to pop up a list. Just click on whatever class it is that you want to look into. Then just search up things about your question and chances are somebody's mentioned it. And if not, then just yeah, ask away. So overall, I would say Maxwell has become again a really good resource to use. It covers pretty much all information now and it does have every class updated. Hopefully it stays updated. I think it will since it has people who do work on the community guides and they have a history of being up to date. But again, it is designed to be a little bit more straight to the point. So if you have a little more questions to it or you want to look things a little bit off meta, there are other resources to go to. And that's really about it. I thought it was important to talk about this since I did recently do that information video, but then they updated like right after, which I did update my comment in description saying that Maxwell did update, but I still thought it'd be good to make a little video talking about it. So just remember, if Breaker comes out and you're trying to access community guide and you're just not being able to load it, go to Maxwell.